The standard written method for subtraction, or a chimney sum, is another alternative when working out calculations, especially with larger numbers. There are several different examples that would need to be discussed at this point, so I'll go through a few. Things to remember, so you're always keeping the numbers in the correct column, whether it's two digit, three digit, four digit, etc. So, if you've got something like 357, take away 134. Starting with the units, you are going to start from the top and take away the bottom. That's important to re-emphasise because lots of children, when it comes to examples that I'll discuss later, they just like to swap the numbers around. So it's always starting with the top, taking away the bottom. So you've got seven units, take away four, which gives you three. Here you've got five lots of 10 or 50, take away three lots of 10 or 30. So you can do five, take away three, which gives you two lots of 10. And then three lots of 100, take away one lot of 100, which gives you 200. Okay, That's probably one of the easiest ones that you would come across. If we think about a slightly more challenging example, So in this case, lots of children might make the mistake of deciding they're going to do 9 take away 7 and writing it down a 2. But again, the emphasis must be that we've got to start at the top number and take away the bottom number. So 7, if we've got 7, we can't take away 9 because that's too many. And in this case, we've then got to borrow an extra 10. So we're crossing out the 5. Now we've got four lots of 10 instead, and it's very important to keep a track of this working out. So we're crossing out the five lots of 10, we're writing four lots of 10 instead. The extra 10 is then written as a one next to the seven. So the seven becomes 17 because you're adding in an extra lot of 10. You've now got 17 take away nine, which can be done, which is an eight. Four lots of ten now instead of the five. You've still got five tens because you've got four here and one there. So we haven't done anything with them other than just move them around a little bit. And that's important for the children to remember as well. We haven't suddenly got rid of one. We've just shifted it. So we've got four lots of ten take away two lots of ten, which is two. And then 300 take away 100, which is 100. Okay. Another example that would need to be gone through is if we've got 334 take away 186. We've then got four take away six, not six take away four, 4 take away 6, so we can't do 4 take away 6, which means we've got to borrow another 10. So we're crossing out our 3 and putting a 2. The extra 10 comes back to the units, so now we've got 14 take away 6, which is 8. If we then work our way across to the 10s column, we've got 2 lots of 10 take away 8 lots of 10. So again, some children might make the mistake, well, we've got 8 take away 2 and write a 6 down. But again, 2 take away 8, that's what we are actually aiming to do. We can't do 20 take away 80 or 2 take away 8, lots of 10. So we've got to borrow again. We're going to the next column. Scoring out the 300 and writing a 200. Now we're borrowing a whole 100 this time. So emphasise the fact that 100 is made up of 10 lots of 10. So you're adding 10 lots of 10 to this number. So although it says 12 here, 12 lots of 10, 
120 is what you're actually dealing with in that column. So you've got 12 lots of 10, take away 8 lots of 10, which gives you 4 lots of 10 altogether, and then 200 to take away 100, which is 100.